Yeah, there, is, there are just so many ways to experience and just such a beautifully curated exhibit. This one right now, uh, Voting Matters, there are video elements, there are maps like this that just so much thought and time has been put in to bring you the information, to take you through a timeline. There is an interactive uh, program here that actually I'm going to have Jonathan tell us a little bit more about. Jonathan, so much talent and time and thought uh, has been put into creating this exhibit. A hundred percent. This is a, what I like to call a labor of love from our institution as a whole, uh, from our president and CEO, through our marketing departments, through our education departments, through our fabrication departments, through our curatorial departments. Everybody was helping to contribute to make this one of the most dynamic exhibitions that we've ever been able to produce. And it's one that was completely produced in-house. So there are interactive elements, as you can see on the screen. There are quotes on the walls. There are videos playing. We wanted people to have that immersive experience in this exhibition through all five sections of what we talk about. It's so many different ways to absorb. We were talking about this, that depending on the day or the mood or just your personality, some people just love to read and they love to digest all that info. Some people would prefer to watch a video. Other people just love getting engaged with the photos or some of these historic documents that we see replicas of on these pages. And you've got a little bit of everything. Ways to engage all your senses. And in the past, there were more pre-COVID. When I say in the past, I'm talking about like pre-pandemic. There were more interactive ways to engage. Now you are thinking outside of the box and you've got a really, really cool way for youth to engage in an interactive and really powerful way. Can you tell us about that? And we've got a little video of this as well that can play as you're talking. Oh yes, so for this month in particular, we wanted to hear from as many voices as we could and particularly from the youth of our communities. And so we put out a program called Youth Speaks where we wanted them to submit videos of them expressing their thoughts, their feelings, their actions in terms of history, equality, justice and even Afrofuturism. So these young people from the ages 8 to 18 are allowed to submit their videos that we will post on our website um, every Friday and those videos allow them to sing about it, they allow them to dance about it, they allow them to do poetry about it, they allow them to do monologues about it, it allows them to do paintings about it. But we wanted to hear their voices because a lot of times we don't get to hear the perspectives of our youth and they have just as many opinions as the adults of our society. And so much of their lives feels out of their control and controlled by somebody else. This is an opportunity for the youth to express themselves in any way that resonates within them, and that is just so powerful. We're going to have more information on our website at wxyz.com. There are programs for youth, really cool things happening for adults that we've been talking about throughout the morning. We'll have more coming up in just a little bit. Jen, back What to a you. great way to bring voices, give those young people voices on such an important topic. That's awesome. Thanks, Jen, so much. We'll check back in with you again in our next half hour.